Through findings, Georgina, congratulations. This paper, Prognostic and Clinopathologic Associations of Oncogene BRAF Metastatic Melanoma, can I just say, the moment that came across my desk, <laughs> I read it, understood every word and thought, bang, we've got a wildfire award winner here. Now, obviously I had no trouble understanding what it was about, but hypothetically, let's say if I didn't even understand half the words in the title, how would you explain to a complete idiot what it's about, that work? Um, so that work was about characterising an abnormality in melanoma that we can target with drugs to understand when a patient walks through the door, is there anything about them that can tell me that I should select this drug before actually doing the genetic test? And we found that, in fact, there wasn't. You need to do the genetic test. But more importantly, we found that Australian patients have a rarer type of BRAF in addition to the common one, and it is targetable by drug. And what that meant is that the BRAF inhibitors were developed, including those Australian patients that would have otherwise been excluded had we not done this work. So very important for Australian patients. Excellent, because that's exactly the way I've been explaining it to everyone who's asked me. <laughs> but the, the important thing is we're, we're talking about the impact and, and the sort of flow-on effect. From what I understand, top-ranked journal that it went into, and that was almost instant dissemination throughout the community, was put some numbers on how, how wild this fire has been. Um, I think it, uh, we published it in 2011, and I think at last count it was over 300 citations. Um, and it's actually impacted, more importantly than the citations, is the development of drugs in this area and making sure that we include all the relevant patients who may respond to these drugs. And these drugs have an incredible impact on, on patient survival. I mean, melanoma, for metastatic melanoma, the survival used to be only nine to 10 months, the median overall survival. And with a combination of BRAF and MEK inhibitors, we've now got a median overall survival of over two years. And we're trying to now see whether we can use these drugs to prevent metastatic melanoma completely. So very important. Did you know, did you know the moment that you'd, you'd, you'd made these findings? Did, did you know they'd have international impact? Or is it only when you start to see the numbers coming in, you see the other citations that, you, that you're aware of the amount of impact? It must be rewarding to know that, it, that it's happening. It's very rewarding to know that our work makes a difference to people. Um, and we did have a little bit of a clue in that there was a little poster. I presented the work initially as a little poster at ASCO. And um, the crowd for three hours that was around this poster at that time um, was pretty phenomenal. And yeah. it's all gone from there. You deserve a winner to the Wildfire Award. Give her a round of applause. Congratulations, Jordi. Yeah, yeah. Can I just... I just... Very important that I um, actually thank the team of people I work with at Melanoma Institute Australia. They are incredible people. And without their motivation and dedication, this sort of thing could not happen. The clinicians, the researchers, the scientists, the administrative staff, who all put patients at the centre of everything they do. Um, I think it's important. I thank them and Cancer Institute New South Wales and the patients themselves. So thank you. Good on you, Georgina. Well said. Congratulations.